Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode two, and we're continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia. The, the game that I keep mistakenly calling Illusions of Gaia, even though there is one illusion. And also, I can't spell Gaia. <laughs> or so spell check keeps reminding me. All right. We spent the last episode doing your basic intro rundown of the game, and we are in the starting town, Cape Town. We've got a little adventuring to do. Home Skillet over here told us, uh, you're always jumping and I can't stop you. And I, I, I just want to stop again and appreciate the fact that they don't, uh, they teach you about the game without bludgeoning you with the game. Yeah, they kind of assume that you you had the manual if you wanted the quick facts, or if you needed hints, they'd give it to you throughout the game. Yeah, so let's jump off the building, and it looks like anywhere where we see stuff like that, we can jump around and talk. So let's see what else we got over here. You look like a fast runner. To run, push the control pad twice. Hey, thank you for the follow, Darren. Okay, so that's running. What else we got? You're not equipped. I'm not equipped. I feel equipped. Oh, no. <laughs> Condition. Style. Will. Hit points. Eight. Yikes. Strength. One. All right. We'll get into that a little bit more later as we get uh, further along. All right. So that's the door that we should have taken back into the church. What do you have to say? My astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. Hold it. Many demons are prowling around outside the town. Didn't your teacher warn you not to leave without your parents? My dead parents? You, you really want to rub that in? Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate that. Alright, what else we got? This is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. All right. So we're at Will's house. Oh, no, I do have a mother. Welcome home, Will. Dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and play for a while. Oh, the 90s, when you could still go out and play. And it was very acceptable for people to say, What are you doing in the house? Go out and play. <laughs> yeah, I noticed she has the Eric text, too. But I, I always kind of considered that as a limitation of... Uh, the game system. It's not like there was an abundance of colors either. Coming home at this hour probably means you had to stay after school again. Haha! -ha, excellent! Even if a boy can't study, he should show a little initiative. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, there were two, 256 colors. No, Seth had the, uh, Seth had the pink? Purple? No, purple. Uh, somebody else had the pink. Alright. So which house is this? I'm worried. There's been a lot of strange merchants lately doing business. I travel around to people's houses selling weapons used to fight demons. We may live in troubled times, but I won't sell a weapon to a child. Really? Really? How about the children that look like you throughout the towns? Ooh. Yeah, who needs weapons when you can flute? Exactly. We haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> okay. Whose house is this? Mmm, nice smell. There's no stove, so I'm cooking in this pot. Is that a reference to something? Is there anything to loot? I can't remember. Uh, well, actually, I do remember one thing. There are three, we're, we're, well, there's more than three. There's a bunch of gems that we're going to run into throughout the game. Jazz flute is, <laughs> we're, get, we're getting to that part. All right, what do we have here? How long have we been playing this since the game was created? It's strange. This game is right red light, green light. Hmm, only me. Only you what? All right, uh, do I want to come through? Is that a ladder? Can I climb back up? Okay, I can't climb back up. What's down here? My friend Eric lives here. This is the biggest house in South Cape. Will envied people born to rich families. Okay. Do 
Don't worry, I'm not on fire. It's just a treatment for my sore body. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. So you're smoking because your brain aches? <laughs> we 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 can't have our character start at a church, but uh, you know we we can smoke for mental health. Gotcha. Okay. What else we got in here? It's the little things in life that make you rich or poor. Well, heard any good stories? I don't know. What you smoking? Everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this town before anyone else. Dude, I don't know that I'd call it nothing. It's something all right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I envy you when I see the sea breeze blowing your hair like that. Not like mine under the scarf. Okay. Um, and before we go too much further, there's a roof to jump down on over here. Oop. I am the jeweler gem. I control the seven seas. Sweet dreams are made of these. Oh, wait, no, that was a song. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bald is beautiful, but that's something else. Yeah, you know they originally have five pots and a bunch of chicks playing red light on the roof. <laughs> I do try to keep this family family friendly as best I can. Uh, I know I, I, I be careful where I, I try to be very careful where I edge the jokes and where that line is. I am the jeweler gem. I control the seven seas. What's your business? Just wanted to see you, give you red jewels, see your inventory. Well, I haven't collected any red gems yet. This is... <laughs> Easy now. Uh, this is... Yeah, this is, this is the only side quest that is available in the game, is collecting the red jewels. A and one of the... Uh... <laughs> Thank you. One, one, one of the one of the one of the things to keep in mind is that most of the areas that you go once you leave there there is no going back um yeah yeah well I didn't so much hate this side quest as I hated the end results but we'll get there and I'll show you why um so You've got to find the gems before you move on to the next area. Like, there are three gems in Cape Town. And if you do not pick them all before you leave, guess what? They're gone. <laughs> and, and it is very easy to uh, to miss one. Yes. It, it, it is It is a per permanently missable side quest. It, it just... Uh, this is like those stupid cameras in Portal when, when you're trying to knock the cameras off the wall and get the uh, Steam achievement for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, let's just go. Just wanted to see you. It's right th Is that right? How do you do? Once you hold up the red jewels, you'll have to come running to my place. I am a famous master of disguises. If you saw me in another town, you wouldn't know me. Yeah, uh, Pro Action Replay, and uh, there was a Nintendo Power that had most of them. Oh, now no, again, I'm uh, showing my age a little bit on that one. <laughs> Same friend that I borrowed the cartridge from the first time I played through. I feel sorry for Seth. I understand why. He hates to see his parents fight every day. Um... No sooner was the door to Seth's house open than a jar came flying out. That... That seems ominous. Are, are we condoning domestic violence here? What's wrong with having a little fun with my hard-earned money? Alright, how, how do I get this 
pot away from whoever threw it. All right. Uh, it's no joke. That man. I put up with it for Seth's sake, but if I if it weren't for him, I'd have left long ago. <laughs> yeah. Don't I ask the police? Yeah. Okay. Uh, chip down for. Okay, it's Lance's house that has the first gem that I'm looking for. As far as I know, there that is the original dialogue. Uh, that was not one of the ones that changed. <laughs> Cops show up on camels. All right, this is Lance's house. He lives here with his frail mother. Lance's house. Your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year now. Thanks for reminding me about that. It seems like only yesterday. Yeah, I know. She seems to be getting around pretty good for somebody frail. All right. One of these had... Yay! We looted the red jewel from the frail mother of my best friend. Wait... That's one of the three. <laughs> My astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. Did he sound like, um... Oh, what's his name? Why am I blanking on his name? Billions and billions of stars. Carl Sagan. Did he sound like Carl Sagan when he told you that? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I can't pull it up. Nope, not touching that one. Nah, nope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, and that, yeah, there we go. So that is, that is the quick uh, view of the town. Now, this guy randomly shows up in one of a few different places on here. And unfortunately, to get the second red gem, you, you have to... Um, nope. Uh, I didn't mean to... Yeah, exactly. I just wanted to quickly step in and step out and try to get him to switch places. Because what you want is you want him to be at a different place with a jar. And if I remember right, the only way to get him to do that was to walk in and out of the cave. But all right, let me try walking in and out of some of the houses. No. Come on. All right, different position. Even if I move to another place, I can't pull it up. Uh. <laughs> really? I, I wish I had done that before I started. I just knew that you had to go in and out of the cave until he showed up in the right place. And that you really wanted to loot his gem before you did anything in the cave. Well, dude, like... Come on, man. Help me out. I'm trying to do it. show. <laughs> I don't want to spend the next six minutes walking in and out of the cave. Yeah, yeah. He's got to show up right outside of here, so... I just want to keep checking to make sure he's at least, you know, done something. Because I want to say it was right here or here that he showed up. Either way, he's got a pot when he does it. Yeah, exactly. I've done that a few times too. Back, way back when I played this the first time through. 
in those early times where you get so used to running in and out the door and then he's finally where you need him and you you just noticed it as you ran back in the door. Oh, that kind of stuff is so frustrating. So frustrating. All right, come on, dude. Help me out. It's not like there's a console I can pull up to do a quick console command. Oh, I wonder if I can find an emulator for the Game Genie. Give me the stupid gem. <laughs> do you guys remember those? The the. the <laughs> Do you guys remember the Game Genie, that that little cartridge extender that you, you'd plug the cartridge into the Game Genie, plug that in, and then start it up, and you had that thick phone book-like manual of all the different uh, codes and things to 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 give you all the you know invulnerability or infinite ammo or uh, all the cool armor and get dev level access to to everything in the game. Oh, good times. Good times. <laughs> Only after I'd beaten it, right? Then I didn't mind going around and playing with some of the stuff. Because there was always that, that one... Yeah, and then the internet happened. <laughs> that that made life a whole lot easier. And the, the nice thing with the computer end of the games is all you got to remember is how to get to the console... And how to figure out what the actual, uh, what the code is for, uh... You know... IDD, BFG, and stuff like that. <laughs> no, wait, yeah, no, 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 that was, was that Wolfenstein or was that Doom? Ooh... Memory isn't what it used to be. I used to know those right off the cuff. But that was also, uh, <laughs> that was also loading up, uh, loading up Wolfenstein 3D on its, uh, floppy disk and Doom on its three floppy disks. Having to remember how to operate PK unzip to unzip the game into memory. Dude, come on, man. Like, my odds. I swear, I am somebody's statistic paper waiting to happen uh, when it comes to bad odds. A ask Arcadius in the chat. Uh, he's the GM for a lot of our D&D &D and tabletop gaming type stuff. And um, if somebody could roll an unusually and statistically small string of ones, twos, and threes, it's this guy. Like, if there is a way to r make the worst series of rolls in a 10-minute engagement, it's this guy. All right, what do you roll? A one. You drop your weapon. Fine. I pick up another weapon and roll the attack on that one. What did you roll? A one. You drop your new weapon. <sighs> Three times in the same encounter it was not fun not fun at all dude i want that gem <laughs> i'm trying to show off the game come on man help me out and too bad unlike skyrim you can't lightning bolt the seagulls and at least pick up some stuff while you're at it Come on, man. Put your back into it. Get that gem. Do I have to talk to you every time? I don't remember seeing that in the guide. Just depending on your luck, he occurs really soon, or you may have to do it several dozen times. Once he appears. Wait, the third jewel? Oh, oh, I gotta get back on top of the school anyway. That, I almost missed one already. I thought it was in the cave. Alright. Well, RNG is being unkind over there. Let me go back up to the bell, because apparently there was an alcove up there. 
that had was it here? There we go. There's the other one. Alright, so there's my second jewel. Let me go ahead and give them to him before I forget. Give you red jewels. Hmm, this is rare jewel. Let me hold it for you. There are now two red jewels in the room. Alright, so to get an herb, I need three red jewels. This, uh, <clears throat> this is basically what it is. Uh, the you, you find the three red jewels here, he gives you an herb, which is useful, except there's only like 18 of them in the entire game, so don't go burning through them. Um, you get defense force and life force and strength and then more power and then more power, and then at 50 red gems, that's when you... Um, that's when you get to see that that's when you get to see the really special extra bonus chamber come on man really oh hey there you are you found a red jewel hot diggity he lifted the strange teapot was it short and stout yeah yeah, so at 50, his secret is an extra chamber, uh, which is a little bit of a rip, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. All right, so now we're at the seaside cave where our friends are. What is it, Will? It's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ha ha ha. I'm going to win again for sure. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, news, big news. The princess of Edward Castle has run away. They say she came to South Cape. Did she abandon the royalty to live in L.A.? Oh, wait, wrong princess. That's all? You came in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. The princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara. The one you like so much. Ooh. Liar! Maybe the soldiers will come here looking for her. The soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I want a steel helmet, too. Seriously, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, maybe... I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to mainline some crystal walking beforehand. I'm also thinking by the end of the stream, I'm going to have to jot down whose color is which and leave myself a little note somewhere on the screen which voice to use with which one because I already forgot which one I was trying for which. Will, get over here and sit next to Eric. Oh no. I'm not interested in girls. I like adventures better. Um, why not both? And I thought everyone would be surprised. All right. Let's do the next part of learning. Everyone's here. What should we do today? Same thing we did yesterday. Try to take over the world. Sorry. Wrong game. Wrong show. <laughs> I haven't seen that one forever, too. Wow. I want to see Will's mysterious power. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see you doing Lance Samuel L. Jackson's voice. But uh, I, I am trying to stay away from the profanity. I do like keeping a, a family-friendly rating. Or at least that is my objective. I want to see Will's mysterious power. You haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. He moved that statue that's in the corner of the cave. Show me again. What am I? Some kind of performer? Oh, that's right. Learning game mechanics. Oh, it moved. <laughs> Next, pick a card, any card. I'll put down four cards face down. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. I love a rigged game. Because the idea is that you are psychic. 
And so the game's trying to, to help you with the whole psychic thing, and whichever one you pick is going to give you the Ace of Diamonds. No matter how many times I see it, I'm still amazed. Wait, what was the last? Uh, but why can you move the statue when you can't move anything else? Uh, I've always wondered that, too. If only I could do that. Will picks up a card. It's the Ace of Diamonds, of course. Ah, right. <laughs> I'm speechless. I feel like I probably should do one of them in uh, Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> hey, lady. Hey, Seth. This is some type of psychic power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, or poor taste, depending on how they you know, smell, and touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. I don't see any dead bodies. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Let's play one more game. Dude, you left like three of the cards sitting on the floor there. <laughs> one more game with Seth and I'm going home. And I'm going to win again for sure. He must be playing Magic the Gathering. Was that a thing in 94? I don't think that was a thing in 94. If only I could do that. I'm trying to remember. Could you move this thing? Yeah, you can move this thing all sorts of places. All right, so you guys are just going to sit there with three of your cards sitting on the floor? Like, I hope you're not playing blackjack or poker or hearts or spades. I haven't played spades in so long. It was already dark by the time Will left the cave. Uh-oh. Something's about to happen. You going to fish up another gem? No, no, you can't get it up again. Gotcha. Okay. Same thing about the parents fighting. My astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. Now, it's not Carl Sagan. Who, who's the astronomer I'm thinking of? Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Was it Neil deGrasse Tyson? No, because he would have well actually a comet is not a star. Though it appears bright in the evening sky. Yeah. People like it when, you know, my beard flies in the wind. All right. Uh, nope, not Eric's house. I need to get out of the Richie to Rich house and get to my own. I can remember where my own was. Where, where, where is my house? It's in the middle of the street, right? No, that's our house. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me go save the game real quick. Because I can't remember where the next save point is. Nope. Oh, no, I... Record. Finished recording. Continue journey? Yes. Oh, hey. That's right. We swing our flute like a weapon. I don't think we've had the opportunity to do that yet. Yeah, no, we're not there yet. All right, let's go. Oh, let's stop by a gem, give him our jeweler so we don't muck up our inventory. Because, um, yeah, those don't stack like in the ga <laughs> in games. And if I remember right. Um, there's supposed to be a way to give them a gem the jeweler in the middle of the game, too. I'm going to have to look that one up. All right, give you some red jewels. You've collected more than three jewels. According to the list, you get the herb. You receive the herb. There's a joke there. Never mind. All right. And then this was my house. Nope, that's Seth's house. 
where we almost got beamed by the pot flying out. And that is Lance's house. And that's the Richie to Rich house. I think this was my house. Yes, this is my house. Why is there a pig in the floor? The pig's wrecking the room. But why is there a pig in my house? Thank you, game. Normally, I'm sitting here going, Game, why is there a weird thing happening in my house? Oink, oink. Are you Hamlet? I am Will. <laughs> what is the... What? Oh, hi, Kara. Hamlet! Oh, you are Hamlet. I forgot about that. You shouldn't snort at strangers. Is this your house? Yeah. So? Frankly, you look a little shabby. Well, you look a little shabby. Oh, well, excuse me. Your father? Mother? Not here, huh? Is this a picture of your parents? My father is an explorer. He... I know. Ullman, the explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No. I'd be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. Anyway, is there a piano here? What? You come into my house with a pig talking about my dead father who you know is dead? And now you're going to go, is there a piano here? No, there isn't. But Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. Okay. Welcome home, Will. When I was singing opera, I lose track of the time. Dinner's not ready yet. Seriously? Oh my. I haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandmother Lola used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice. That's why I married her. Oh, you. Bringing up a thing like that. Well, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who was singing with me a minute ago. No. No. No, wait, no. <laughs> Wrong movie. A scream from downstairs. It's that girl screaming. So we're going to slowly meander to the door and find out what happened. Princess, I've been looking for you. I don't know you. Be gone. What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. We working for the Queen of Hearts? What do I care if you lose your head? Princess, do you think I have nothing better to do than chase you down? I must take you home. It's the King's orders. They just going to drag her like that? Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. I feel as though we've met before, as if we're good friends. I don't know. You weren't talking to me like a good friend. So, that girl likes to play practical jokes. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Okay. Edward Castle. There's a big viaduct under the castle. Your grandfather designed it. What? Really? I... There's a prison under the castle. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappear and are never heard from again. Is there a minotaur in there? Enough serious talk. Let's eat dinner. I've made a delicious pie. Let's sit at the table upstairs. Um, am I going to talk about the the fact that mom isn't here? Will, do you think Lola's meals have been a little strange lately? Last night, licorice and rice. Before that, mouse fritters. I'm sorry. Mouse fritters? I can't stand it anymore. Sometimes old people, if they're surrounded by problems, get a little forgetful. 
Maybe there's something bothering her that she can't talk about. Okay then. We sat down to a feast of snail pie. What are we, French? Oh no, that would have been buttery snail pie. With whipped cream. Snail pie with whipped cream? No! That's... that's... no! Okay. I only got one piece, but Grandpa Bill ate half the pie. That night, Will dreamed that Kara and he took a trip around the world. Strange dreams on snail pie. And the next morning, something began to happen. I went way over the 20 minutes. I kind of lost track of time, especially going back and forth over that stupid RNG for the stupid third gem. <sighs> okay, so with that said and done, thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't helped the channel out, follow on Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live. I do a regular stream on Tuesdays and another one on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I sometimes try to squeeze in an extra one if I can. Uh, like I might sometime coming up soon, just depending on how scheduling works out. Um, so follow, and that way you'll get notified when I go live. And the live stream replays and episodes like the ones these are going to be published on get posted to YouTube. So if you haven't, follow along there as well. Or subscribe, sorry. Got to make sure I get my terminology right. Y you know what I'm talking about. Uh, subscribe in YouTube and that way you'll get notified when new episodes and other content gets posted to YouTube. And if you... Uh, if you're getting value, this is a strictly value for value proposition. If you're getting value out of the series, if you're getting some enjoyment or knowledge or uh, just general entertainment, then consider giving a little value back. Live.anonjunior.com will take you to the Streamlabs page where you can give a tip or a donation, whichever way you want to think about it. And even if it's enough to, you know, keep me in a cup of coffee, you know, eat cheap cup of coffee like Starbucks. Um Actually, I'd probably go to Dunkin' Donuts where I get real coffee and a donut for the same price. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm drifting. Um, with all that said and done, thank you. Live folks, give me just a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>